And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company in the commentary box today is, of course, Stuart Robson. And a lot to be excited about, because coming up for you, action from Ligue 1. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they face Metz. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Neymar out wide, and the main striker today is Kylian Mbappe. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, it looks as though they're lining up fairly defensively with a back five, but I think the wing backs will have license to get forward at every opportunity. And also watch out for one of the central midfield players going to join the front too. And the match is underway. That's the kind of shielding play you expect from him. He's protecting it well. Determined defending. Mbappe. Neymar has a go here. Messi, here's Mbappe, with a textbook interception, well the attack finally comes to nothing and the keeper has it, well sometimes players are overhyped but I don't think we can use that word in connection with Lionel Messi, well it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player, he can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas and he has that bit of trickery as well, I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. And played the pass well. Tackling and winning the ball to boot. Well, nicely cut out. Kevin Indoram. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Can't argue with that little move. Kevin Indoram. And a good-looking ball. He certainly has time. Not away completely. Well, threat over for now. Lionel Messi. Mbappe. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. technique I'm not sure about you Stuart but I thought that was going in well so did I but in the end it comes to nothing but what a great strike it was it was hit so sweetly slipshod passing Neymar makes his way forward with purpose options around him well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. Yeah. 
Kevin Indoram. Delane. That's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. And room now out on the flank. Marassi. Now Gay. Marassi! And there it is! 1-0! The efforts have been rewarded. And look at the celebrations. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. physical strength to shield it. Kuyate. Siku Niakate. Moving the ball forward with purpose. A delivery towards the back post. But goalkeeper's ball, disappointingly for them. And a good-looking ball. And they will be awarded a free kick for that. Well, the referee produces the red card, an obvious one, Stuart. Well, they'll need to reorganise quickly here. He really has let them down with that challenge. Verratti. Well, the pass not finding its target. I must say, this looks promising. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. And half-time coming up with PSG on top. Stuart, your thoughts on their performance to this point? Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take control. They'll be fairly happy going in at half-time if it stays like this. Maiga. Nian. Kevin Indoram. Showing patience, looking for the equaliser. Splendid tackle, and the outcome is a corner here. Foiling them effectively. Well, racing past his man. An important interception. Santons. And he read it well, intercepting it. Neymar thrives on running at defenders. Lionel Messi in the middle. And a no-nonsense clearance. I think the referee was spot on there. A free kick in the end after he had attempted to play advantage. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And an effective clearance. Hakimi. And now Gay. And a good-looking ball. Well, he wasn't messing around with the clearance. And so the half-time whistle has gone here at the Parc des Princes in Paris. Well, Marco Verratti really catching the eye in the first half. Stuart, what did you make of it? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real impact on the play. Well, they get the ball rolling again. Paris Saint-Germain with the advantage, but no room for complacency.
Niakate. And Doram now. De Preville. And just missing the target. Well, they're at least making chances. Now they need to be more clinical. Lionel Messi. Hakimi. That's someone to play it to. Messi! Vital intervention. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Superbly read and executed. A wonderful stop but the offside flag has gone up and it grinds to a halt possession lost Excellent vision, but mistimed his run. Well, he's got the timing all wrong there. He just needs to bide his time. Verratti. Di Maria now. Hakimi. Going well. Messi. It's a perfect challenge. After the foul, a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick. So a personnel change then. It was an accurate free kick, but a fine save. Poor pass. Moving it forward. Di Maria. Mbappe. It might be. Messi. And return to Verratti. And PSG pushing to add to their lead. It'll be a corner. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. The delivery from Neymar. Cleared away. Terrific block. Lionel Messi. Oh, showing excellent vision. No way through. Verratti. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Nian. This looks interesting. Can he play it in? And fine work from Paris Saint Germain to win the ball back. Well, the hosts have had so much of the ball in the last 15 minutes, and their passing patterns have created numerous chances. They surely must extend their lead soon. PSG looking dangerous. Messi. And Messi! Oh, wonderful save! Well, he reacts so quickly there. That's a great save. Fired in by Neymar. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Messi, and no way through. And he did what he had to do defensively. Well, well, if only he'd been able to stay onside. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Stay onside, and that could have been a really big chance. Mbappe, firing it in. And that's a straightforward stop.
and into the last 15 minutes of action Mbappe and he might be through here oh terrific save from the keeper well that's just a wonderful save how did he stop that on the corner perhaps an opportunity for Paris Saint-Germain to increase the lead didn't quite go to plan might it be Mbappe oh denied him brilliantly well that would have wrapped it up wouldn't it what a brilliant save that is PSG are going to switch things around on the personnel front it's Neymar's corner well it smacks into the gloves of the goalkeeper Didier Lamkelze. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Moving forward effectively. Messi. A very timely interception. Hakimi. Herrera. Now Messi. Well, as you can see, this was always coming. They've been piling on the pressure. It's a well-deserved goal. So, 2-0 now. tackle Mbappe save but still a chance just cleared away in the nick of time magnificent challenge to win it back and the referee is going to add on three minutes takes it on there's the goal Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. And there's the final whistle, and we can confirm a victory for Paris Saint-Germain. What did you think of their overall display? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. He's really quiet. He usually buzzes around everywhere, Lionel Messi. What did you make of what he actually did out there on the pitch? You know, I think the only thing you could question, could he have been a touch more clinical in front of goal? Maybe should have had two or three today. Regardless of that, it was a good performance and a 